Hello everyone. Um, I wanted to show you the Zoom HD. Now, you may be wondering, why am I showing this? Well, this is an alternative to the iPod Touch. Or in my case, the iPhone. Now, obviously, this is my iPhone here. No big surprise there. Now, what makes this good about the Zoom? Well, there are things that actually does better. For one, this uses an OLED screen. Unlike the iPhone or iPod Touch, they use LCD. Now, The reason why an OLED screen looks better in many ways is because of the black level. Now, you notice I had to put on the lower setting just because so it actually captures on video here. But look how black the black level is. Now, if I turn the brightness down on the iPhone, see the difference now this is probably the biggest difference look at the black and then look at all the brightness on the zoom versus on the iPhone the iPhone is on the lowest brightness level this is the original 2G iPhone just for argument's sake look at the difference The blacks are blacker and the whites are whiter on the zoom. That's because the way an OLED screen works is that each individual pixel is its own light. Pretty cool stuff. Now obviously it does music, videos, pictures, uh, has a built-in radio, it does have HD radio, which is kind of cool. Uh, you got your marketplace, basically similar features minus the radio as on the iPhone or iPod Touch. You know, you do got your podcast, uh, your internet, and the camera doesn't want to focus now. Anyway, um, it does have a social aspect, and what the Zoom has always been known for is to wirelessly sync your content to other Zoom players. Now the cool thing about this is that you can also wirelessly sync this to your computer. So you don't have to actually plug it into the computer, you can just do it wirelessly. So if the Zoom software is open, you can just go in your uh, Zoom, go to your wireless, and then you got a sync option. So, uh, well my Zoom software isn't on now, but you know, if I press sync, it's going to wisely sync. It's not as fast as having like a direct connection, but say like you're in the other room and you're watching TV or something and you're on it, you know, you don't want to leave the room. So that gives you a nice option there. Um, obviously, it has a web browser and all that stuff, and it does have apps. So, um, hmm. Let's look at some 3D capabilities. Now, while it's loading, this, this gives you a side view, back view. Obviously, on the bottom, you got your Zoom port, just like an iPod connector, and your headphone jack. The top is the power button. Um,. I'll get to this other button here in a minute, but just for a quick run through. This basically gives you an idea of the 3D capabilities. Not bad. Now, um, oops, going backwards. Or Just a quick uh, 
view on that. Now, uh, what does Office want to say? Oh, right. Uh, the button here. You would think this is a volume dial, but it's not. It's a button. You press. And then this shows up. This is how you change your tracks. Pause. Pause in your volume. Um, sure, there are ways to. See, right now it's playing. You can actually just tap the screen and it will show up. Now, the only problem I have about this, I can kind of understand why they did, but. Say like you have in your pocket, you know, it would be nice just to, or if you're just holding it, you know, send like holding it up and doing that, you know, you just like bump, 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 like that. That would have been better, I think, but, you know, it's not bad this way either. It just forces you to actually look at the device, which, that's probably what they were trying to go for. Um, that's pretty much it, really. Um, is it really worth getting? If you already have an iPod Touch or an iPhone, there's no real reason for it. The only reason why I got this is because this iPhone is starting to break down. Some of the buttons are barely working now. The headphone jack is a little jacked up. That's really the reason why I wanted to get a new player to play music on. And, um, I figured, you know what, let me go with something that's not Apple for once. So I went with the Zoom route. Um, that's my look at it. I like it. I actually do like this a lot. Um, what are your thoughts? Do you have a Zoom? Uh, what are your thoughts on the Zoom? And even if you don't have one, uh, what would be your reason to not get one? So, that's my question I post out to you guys, and uh, like always, have a good one.